What's going on boys? Welcome back to another Creative Destruction video. So boys, this Thursday, we've got a new update coming. We've got a new gadget. We've got some new stuff being added to the game. It looks absolutely amazing. So check out the rest of this video to find out exactly what's to come this Thursday. It's a big update. But guys, remember, every single video, 500 diamond giveaway. All you have to do is get the likes over a thousand. Put one comment down below. I'll pick one of those random comments to win 500 free Creative Destruction Diamonds. So without further ado, boys, let's check out the update. Yeah, boy! Yeah, baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though. When it's over, I press rewind, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. Okay, so boys, before we go into Creative Destruction's new update this Thursday, I'm going to show you a new feature that's going to be coming in Season 7. Now, I'm putting this at the beginning of this video first to send a message to the developers and to see what you guys think of what they're adding in. So, I'm going to show you in a second what they're adding in. So, they're adding climbing into Creative Destruction. Now, you all know already that anything they add into Buildtopia comes out in Creative Destruction later on. So, I'm showing you this first. This is Buildtopia behind me, guys. This is a new Season 7 lobby screen. I've showed you another video before. But basically, I'm going to hop into a game because I'm going to show you something that they've added. They're going to be adding climbing into the game. Now, in my opinion, this does not need to be added. Now, I know the developers are going to be watching this. So, please, guys, we don't want climbing in the game. It doesn't need to happen. It's already... that there's There's bigger things that you guys need to be adding into the game. To make it better and to make all the old people that have already left CD come back to the game. I can name three things right now. FPS. Um, weapons as well. Some of the weapons are broken. And add the old map back as an extra add-on. Because a lot of the guys plays the, played the old map on lower end devices. And the old map is just smoother as well. I know it's uh, a drop for you guys. Because you've already read, did loads of work on the, new, on the new map. But just add the old map as an alternative for them to play. Make it a bit smaller maybe. But yeah. Climbing. I'm going to show you guys now what exactly I mean. So check this out. Okay guys. So I'm in the game now. And this way you see what I mean by climbing. So it's all in Chinese. Obviously I can't read it. But you can see the details here. Climbing. It's the first time I'm actually experiencing it. But again, it, it's a thing that does not be, need to be added into the game. So let's just test. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to build a couple of walls just like that. So I'm going to go on there. And all you need to do is just press the jump button. And you can basically climb up walls. You, as you can see, it's literally so slow climbing up a wall anyway. So you climb to the top, hop on over, and boom, just like that. In my opinion, again, guys, it's just going to make the game even more laggy. I don't know. Again, it just... It just It's one of those things that just does not need to be added into the game because it's... I mean, look how slow you're building up there. You could just hang on to a wall behind. You could just stay there. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it needs to be added into the game, guys. It's just... I don't know. It's just... It's just going to make the game run worse. And no, I just... I mean, guys, if you're with me on this, then put in the comments right now, hashtag no climbing. Okay, because it does not need to be added. It's such a pointless thing that needs to be added into the game. It's going to take some effects of the game away. And essentially, it's just going to make the game run worse, in my opinion. So, yeah, guys, in my opinion, just comment down below. Hashtag no climbing if you don't want climbing in the game, just like me. Okay, so going back to CD, guys. So, basically... Uh, a new update this Thursday. There's going to be some new patch notes uh, that is available to read. So we're going to have a read through them, explain, go over the details, and see exactly what's to come. There's a new gadget coming. So let's check them out. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. August 22nd maintenance notice. So the new season 7, Rising Sun, will begin on August 22nd. This season will run from August 22nd to November 7th as Cherry Blossoms dance upon the blade's edge. A new era of combat looms on the horizon. So season 7 is coming this Thursday, boys. Again, there's going to be a huge update. You're going to see a new lobby screen. You're going to see new stuff into the game. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. And there's probably going to be climbing added into the game. Hopefully. Unless the developers take it out and watch this video. 
Um, so, explorers will receive rewards according to the Season 6 tiers and get new starting tiers. It's time for a new adventure, so you can get some new tiers, guys. Uh, season update, the interface update. With a new season comes an all-new interface style, from the lobby to the battle screen, the depot to the friend page. Every interface in the game has a completely new look. So there we go, boys. Uh, basically, yeah, exactly what I've shown you before, the stuff that's... In Biltopia is going to be added to CD. So finally, they're updating the lobby screen, which has only taken them a year. Whew. Number one, a season, a new season pass will also be launched on August 22nd. The upgraded season passes will grant the orange firearm skins, fiery dragon, and swordfish bite, as well as a t as ten exquisite suits, including the Edo Boy, Mistress of Chaos, Oni Samurai, and a fragrant jasmine, and various other accessories, parachutes, and look rewards. So again, guys, like I said before in my last video, it's the same one as in Buildtopia. There's a new season pass. I think there's going to be some new diamonds added into the normal season pass. You can earn some free diamonds for yourself as well. Remember, the free chests that you can buy with 5,000 gold coins and the star coins, they're going to be adding more skins into there. They're going to be adding the buster sword into there as well, so you can use all of your gold coins to get some new fresh skins. Um, okay, number two. All players can get the buster melee weapon, common level 100, season 7 passes, which, which each grant a simple buster. As long as you finish... All of the season missions, you'll get this weapon free of charge once your pass reaches level 100. So it's an easier way for you guys to get the simple buster. Uh, number three, the optimized season level rewards, season pass daily missions, and weekly pass uh, season pass missions. Vehicle related missions have been added to the daily and weekly season pass missions, and some questionable missions have been adjusted. So they made it easier, guys, for some new missions. Um, to get XP quicker, to get that battle pass up really quickly. Remember, guys, you can always buy XP in the season pass, but I like to grind it myself. There's some other content creators that usually buy the season pass XP just to get to level 100, but I think it's just a waste of money. You want to just you want to grind for a skin. Do you know what I mean? That's what I like doing. I like grinding for a skin and finally reaching that um, that skin and unlocking it. So uh, next, the season update, the new medicine. They've added a brand new kind of medicine, the elite medicine. After using it, your shield will be restored continuously. Now, the medicine, guys, is basically like a mini potion in Fortnite. You basically use it, and your shield goes up slowly by 40. So every one you use, it goes up by 40. I don't know how many you can equip in your inventory. It's probably going to be a maximum of three, maybe four, maybe six. I don't know. We'll see this Thursday. Um... So that's pretty cool. There's another new uh, sort of elite medicine added. Uh, there's two new items will be added into the new season. Both can be picked up and produced in the workshop. A heal bot restores the HP of all friendly explorers in range. Ooh. So it looks like it's some sort of little drone or little droid that you pull out, guys, that heals you continuously while you're fighting. So that's actually really cool. Um... That's another cool aspect they're adding to the game. Again, they're always upgrading it. So let me know what you guys think about that. That's that's pretty cool. Now, I've read over this one already, guys. Number two. So if you have a look, sound interference. Now, this when you use this, it plays... Oh, my God. So popular. When you use this, guys, it plays music automatically, inflicting sound interference on all explorers in range. All sounds made by afflicted explorers will be affected with the interference, preventing sound reminders from being generated. Affected explorers will be unable to receive any sounds except interference, and sound reminders will only produce interference sounds. Affected explorers will only be able to continuously hear the sound interference sound effects. So basically, guys, it's like a big boombox. So you put it out and... I'm guessing you're not going to be able to hear footsteps or you're not going to be able to hear sound reminders like someone dying or when the map's closing in or something like that. I, I mean, it's a bit of a weird one they're adding in, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, unless, you know, when you someone's walking next to you and you can see their orange footsteps at the top on the compass... Maybe if you use it, it gets rid of that. So that could be pretty cool because you can actually see where people's footsteps are. Maybe they could add that as a sort of add-on. But yeah, that's a really, really weird gadget that they're adding in. Again, they add these gadgets in, guys, but most people don't actually use these gadgets. So I remember like the freeze grenade and stuff like that. I don't even use those gadgets. So 
Again, it's weird. I don't know why they're adding in gadgets like this when I've already told them FPS needs to be boosted. The only thing that's going to make the game better is boosting the FPS whenever you're in a fight with someone. Adding a new map or adding the old map as an add-on. And three, fixing weapons like the flamethrower doesn't even need to be in the game. The auto turret, that should have been got, that shouldn't have even been added into the game. So, yeah, that's really weird how they're adding all this sort of weird extra stuff to make the game more sort of worse than what it is when they should be adding the good stuff and the stuff we actually need and the stuff we're actually giving them advice to actually fix. But there we go. Uh, we've added a lot of fix, uh, a lot, we've added lots of fixed ejection seats throughout the environment so that you can travel great distances in no time. To see where they are, simply open a map and choose, show the locations of the ejection seats. So, again guys, like I showed you in a previous video, in Buildtopia guys, they've got ejection seats in like each town, like randomly situated, so you don't have to build them, you can just use it whenever you like, anyone can use them as well. Um, so yeah, they're, they're adding statuary uh, ejection seats around the Aurora Valley, so we already knew that. Um, regular gold supply update to ensure that all players have the chance to access the Buster melee weapon. The simple Buster will also be added to the regular supply boxes. Like I said guys, so yeah, you can buy the simple Buster or you can try and get it using your gold coins. So that's, that's a good update, that's a good thing that they've added into the game. Um, adjustments and optimizations. When an explorer creates a creative island room using a creative island in another explorer's creative island list, the following message will be displayed. This room was created using another explorer's creative island. After building, you'll tempor temporarily be unable to save. So they're just optimizations for Creative Island, guys. A bit confusing. I don't really get that myself, but hey oh. Uh, number two, they've added bases to some objects that lack bottom surfaces. So I think that's like for maybe like the, the bunny chest or I don't know, some sort of um, some of the gadgets. So uh, number three, they've added vehicles to Creative Island to use freely. Whoa, I didn't even see that. Yo, boys. Race mode. They are adding vehicles to the Creative Island, guys, so you can actually spawn vehicles in, in the Creative Island, so you can create race tracks, you can race around with each other in them. Um, that's cool. Well done, developers. That is another great update. So, all in all, guys, two good things, maybe three good things I can see in this update coming Thursday, which is Season 7. They got the new uh, Battle Pass, which is, sorry, four new things. A new Battle Pass. They've got... Um, they're adding stuff into the regular supply boxes. They're adding vehicles in Creative Island. And... That's it. That's basically it. So, yeah. I mean, guys, just let me know what you think about the update. Again, please comment. Hashtag no climbing. Because the climbing does not need to be added into the game. They're probably going to add it anyway. They probably won't listen. But, again, I've already told them the three things they need to focus on is the FPS, the friggin'... Um, the FPS, the uh, adding a new or an old map and taking out some of the weapons like the auto turret and the flamethrower. Shit, guys, I totally forgot. Thick. So there we go, guys. That's the update in Creative Destruction. Again, Season 7 is coming this Thursday. I hope you're hyped for it, boys, because I'm pretty hyped. Well, I'm kind of half hyped with the stuff they're adding in. Remember, guys, 500 diamond giveaway. All you have to do is get the likes over 1,000. So literally, just press that thumbs up button right now. Drop one comment down below, preferably hashtag no climbing. And, boys, I will see you in the next one. Yeah, boys! Yeah.